Hi, welcome. Today I have a matrices problem for you, which is uh, ISI or CMI entrance level. So the problem says prove that if you have two n cross n matrices A and B, then the determinant of identity minus AB is equal to the determinant of identity minus BA. So IN here is the n cross n identity. Now, if one of the matrices is it's easy to prove. Suppose B is invertible. Then I N minus A B can be written as B, B inverse minus, no, actually, let's invert that B inverse B. Minus B inverse B. A, B. Why? Because B inverse B is always identity. Now we can take B inverse and B common, which gives us B inverse times identity minus B A times B. Therefore, the determinant of that is determinant of B inverse times determinant of IN minus BA times determinant of B. And as we are dealing with real numbers now, we can rearrange them. We can, for example, bring determinant these two together, determinant of B inverse and determinant of B. They give one. So it's equal to determinant of I n minus B a. And what happens when neither is invertible? Then I do something like this. Suppose B x is x I n plus B where x is a real number. Now, if bx is not invertible, uh, actually, uh, if bx is invertible, then we have determinant of i n minus a b x is equal to determinant of i n minus dx a so this is something that we have already proven before if b is not in uh, b is invertible then there is no problem okay now note that b bx is invertible If and only if determinant of Bx is non zero, this is our observation number one. Now we have another observation, which is observation number two determinant of Bx is a polynomial in X. Therefore, from polynomial theory, determinant of Bx equal to 0 
can have only finitely many solutions because a uh, polynomial has only finitely many roots. Which means, using part one, which means uh, Vx is not invertible only for finitely many x. For all other values of x, which are infinitely many, these two are equal. This side and this side are equal. Note that both sides are polynomials in x. Therefore, if they are equal for infinitely many values of the infinitely many values of x, they are actually equal because two polynomials cannot be equal for infinity values of the variable unless they are always equal. Therefore, the x doesn't matter. In particular, we can choose x equal to 0, which gives b, uh, b0 equal to b. And we have determinant of i n minus a b equal to determinant of i n minus ba see this was a problem in uh, matrices which was solved by polynomial algebra i hope you found that interesting bye bye